Two hours north in Hardy County, the sheriff's office says that they've discovered nine bodies. 10 Tampa Bay's Hannah Deneen is in Wachula as police confirm one of those recovered is the last person in the county reported missing. Down this road here in Zopal Springs is where Craig Margraff Jr. was swept into flood water during Hurricane Ian. Just a few hours ago, the Hardy County Sheriff's Office told me they have found his body. I like you would go, oh my God, this is not happening. Craig Margraff Jr., known as CJ, was trying to reach a boat when swirling, fast-moving water pulled him under. His father, Sr., was yards behind him, clinging to a tree branch. I was looking down over. I seen him struggling like he was up there like here in water. He's only, you know, he's his father says he spent the night in trees with CJ and another man after he was convinced to leave CJ's home. Yeah, I didn't like it. I told him, hey man, no, I'm not cool with this. In the final hours before CJ made that break for the boat, the two clung to each other for warmth. He came and he hugged my back and he just warmed me up by the by body. It was like apology. Hardy County Sheriff Vent Crawford says after finding CJ, they've largely transitioned to search and recovery mode. Still going through and doing what we need to do on the river, searching for anything that, that may be abnormal. Now, one of many families who lost a loved one during Hurricane Ian mourns an energetic, passionate soul. We all love his free spirit. We all love his eagerness. We love the way he gets excited at something that excited him. That was Hannah Deneen reporting. In an effort to have everyone accounted for, the Hardy County Sheriff's Office says a first responder has knocked on the door of every home in the county since the storm.